This, I was on care of them.
of service, any more orders of service?
Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're just about ready to start, and uh, I will hand over to Jane in a moment to make a formal start. Just to let you know, this uh, service has been live streamed and will be available on YouTube afterwards, and we'll send out links so everybody knows what that is. So, first of all, let's welcome everybody here, and uh, thank you for all attending. And I will hand over to Jane because it's now quarter past ten. Thank you. Especially as now you're year five and six, um, many of us know some of you from when you visited for experiences and that sort of thing. And it's especially wonderful to invite you when we're celebrating your God-given talents and the effort that you have put in to making those more skilled, to be even better at the things that you can do. And I can tell you that we pray for you often in this church, and we will be praying for you during the summer holidays and for your new beginnings in September. So just a couple of housekeeping points. Um, we're not expecting to have to evacuate this morning, but if we do, um, we will let the school sort the children first, and I will give you directions um, afterwards. But we do have an exit here, the door that you came through, and there's also one at the back that side. And uh, parents, I'm glad you found seats. We're having some exciting um, developments in terms of a kitchen area at the back and a few pews coming, a couple of pews coming out to enable um, particularly disabled people to have better access around the church and also it'll give us a bit more space when we have performances here. So thank you for your understanding that you're sitting in that side and not this side. But let us begin with a greeting and a prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Father God, thank you for bringing us together today in this church. Thank you that you have promised to be with us through your spirit when we gather in your name. So Lord Jesus, we welcome you and ask you to bless us, each one. Amen.
Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one tear apart the burning of ambition that fires the drive inside your heart. Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one tell you that you can't. Let no one hold you back. Let no one tell you that you won't. Set your sights and keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one steal your dreams. Your only limit is the sky. Let no one steal your dreams. Follow your heart. Follow your soul. For only when you follow them will you feel truly whole. Set your sights and keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one steal your dreams. Your only limit is the sky. smile be ever present may your skies be always blue may your path be ever upward may your heart be ever true may your dreams be full to bursting may your steps be always sure may the fire in your soul blaze forevermore may you live with me ambition may you strive to pass each test may you find the love that your life deserves may you always have the best may your happiness be plentiful may May your regrets be few. May you always be my best friend. May you always just be you. So we've got Alicia, and Jane talked a lot about nurturing God's gifts talents. And um, the youth club and Alicia have been working hard together. And she's put a lever song together for everybody, which she's going to play to us now.
Sometimes in life I feel a little scared Facing tomorrow, don't know what happens next Sometimes in life you have to look up to the ones who care Looking for support can be hard sometimes when you find it It's like a rainbow in the sky The ones who care have been there all along The ones who don't haven't been there at all Friends are like precious stones They stay forever and don't let go Life is like a fairy tale Be nice as the one to tell You're true one and happy after all So it's why I say Being afraid is okay The ones who care You don't have to be there at all Friends are like precious stones They stay forever and don't let go You can make the world a better place Showing kindness is something you have to face When you look up to your support It's like a rainbow in the sky The ones you care have been there all along The ones you don't haven't been there at all Friends are like precious stones They stay forever The greatest message. Embrace this feeling we call faith. Believe and live in hope and truth. Learn to love as we'd be loved this idealism of our youth. It's time to banish all those schemes that would invade and sell our dreams. It's time to stand and turn our backs on all the forces that attack. It's time to act. It's time to face these powers that erode our faith. The faith, the faith passed down that we inherit the strength within the human spirit. It's time to see through grown-up eyes, once and for all, to realise that love is love is love is love and nothing to be frightened of. Yes, love is love is love is love. Like black and white, like hand in glove, patient, kind and from above. Yes, love is love is love is love. So keep the faith, hold tight the hope. Hope for the future we dream of. Faith, hope and love, these three remain. The greatest of them all is love. Thank you. And again, welcome everybody. Come to part of the, the service where we're going to be doing some special awards. It's been a great privilege being part of this school uh, over the last few months. And uh, it's been really clear that there are so many talented children with so many great things to offer. And as they go on this journey and they move forward, uh, into the next phase of their education. This transition period is a good opportunity for us to say thank you 
well done, and we wish you all the best. And so we have a number of awards, which are traditional awards that have been awarded over the years by the school, which we are going to be uh, making this, after, uh, this, this morning. And uh, to help me with that, Mrs. Walsh has got uh, some trophies that we're going to be handing out. The trophies will go with a certificate. The certificate you'll get to keep. We keep the trophies because they go on next year and they go on, they go on. It's part of the tradition. I know there will be some parents here whose children will be receiving awards. At the end of the service, we'll ask you to stay behind and we'll take some photographs with you, with your child, with the certificate and the trophy. And uh, we, we want to be able to celebrate that. One of the, the things that we want to be doing as we go forward is to make sure that these trophies are understood by the children a little bit better. So we'll be keeping the trophies and celebrating them in school with a picture of the child that's last won the award with an explanation of what the award was for. Because we want to create an atmosphere of aspiration. We want our children to aspire to great things and to do great things. And these children have been uh, selected by uh, the staff for their great achievement this year in a number of different ways. We know that we've got so many children who have done so many great things this year. Uh, one of the amazing things I've seen with our year six is how they've risen to the challenge. And very, very talented, very, very welcoming, very, very kind young people. We talked about love as being one of our great values as a school. We're learning to live that better every single day. And it's a challenge for us all to be more loving and more kind in a world that sometimes isn't kind. That's a challenge for us as adults. It's a challenge for the young people to pick up that and to move with that in their lives in the future, to make the world a better place. So we're going to start this morning with uh, the first award. And the first award is the Hinsley Dodd Award for English. Now, we've done a little bit of research on some of these awards because we needed to know exactly how they came about. So this award was uh, to commemorate the memory of Hinsley Dodd, who was a former head teacher of Whitchurch Secondary Modern School. And this is an award to a pupil who has shown gifted and talented abilities in use of the English language. So the Hinsley Dodd Award for English this year goes to Matilda, Matilda Mosley. Okay. Let's give her another round of applause. Here we go. Okay, thank you. The next award is the RFC Hughes Maths Shield. And this award is to a pupil who has shown significant ability in mathematics. And this commemorates a previous long-serving headteacher of Whitchurch Junior School. So the RFC Hughes Math Shield is this year awarded to Hannah McAllister. And another round of applause, go on. The next award is the Tony White Science Shield. Tony White was a teacher at the school for 35 years and donated this award for the pupil who has shown gifted and talented abilities in science. So the Tony White Science Shield for 2023 is awarded to Alice Digby. The next award is the Dawn Stevens Shield for Information Technology. We call that computing today. 
So it shows even awards can sometimes, their names get uh, a little left behind by changes in the way the curriculum is delivered. But the computing uh, curriculum is ever so important in the modern world. It's a, it's a major way in which we now deliver the curriculum for the children. Uh, as you as parents will know, the children know, we use iPad technology for most of the delivery of the curriculum. And much of that is going to be serving them in the future to become the learners and leaders of the 21st century as we go forward. So this is an important award because it recognizes significant achievement uh, in communication technology and computing. And it commemorates the life of a long-serving past member of the school. So, the Dawn Stevens Award for this year is awarded to Zachary Hardwick. Hold on, Zach. The next award is the Adam Jones Technology Shield. This award is awarded to commemorate the life of Adam Jones, who was a pupil at the school between 1985 and 1987. And this is awarded to the pupil who is the most gifted at design and technology. It's a significant award in the life of the school, because as I understand it, unfortunately, Adam was killed in a road traffic accident. So this award, the Adam Jones Award, special award, goes to Georgina Varela Reigns. If you can stand in front. Give a round of applause. Well done, Georgina. The next award is the Elaine Bentley History Award. Now, this award is given annually to the pupil who is the most gifted at history. This commemorates the life of Elaine Bentley, a member of the teaching staff for many years. The Elaine Bentley Award for 2023 is awarded to Ryan Radcliffe. Okay. It's one of those award ceremonies where, unfortunately, I'm not able to accept the award today, but I'm sending somebody on my behalf. So we're going to do skip one. Stay where you are. Because the next award is the Elaine Bentley Award for the... No, sorry, that's got the one. Yeah. That's right. I got Ryan there, the history one. So there's another one as well, isn't it? So it's the same one. So we've got two of the same one this time. So it's the double award, which is kind of appropriate, really, to have a double award, because they're twins, you see. So it's a very special award, because you're able to collect it on behalf of your twin brother, because you've got one as well. Surprise, surprise. There we go. William Ratcliffe, you too have received an award for your history prize this year. So two brothers, twins, receiving double award for history. Round of applause, please. Well done. kind of like wonder who's going to come up and accept the award on their behalf, don't you? When you get to an award ceremony, you know they're not there. The next award is the Carl Jennings Award. Now, the Carl Jennings Award is presented for an outstanding contribution to music and skill and dedication in extracurricular music activities. This award was presented to the school by the Whitchurch Rotary Club, and it commemorates the life of one of its former members. So the Carl Jennings Award for music this year is presented to... Isabel Davis. Hold on to the award. Don't drop it. Okay, there we go. Give it a clap, folks. The next award is a Special Achievement Prize. 
And this prize is given to a pupil who has overcome challenges in their learning and made really excellent individual progress. And the award is a special achievement prize this year to Sataj Singh. Sataj. Give South Africa a big round of applause, folks. Uh, we're going to do one more, then we're going to have a break, we're going to have a song in the middle of it. Okay, so the next one is uh, the Thomas Benyon Prize. And the Thomas Bennion Prize is a foundation prize. It was given in the memory of Thomas Bennion, a benefactor uh, of the school in its earliest days. So this is one of the oldest prizes that the school has ever awarded. And this prize is awarded to boys who have made the greatest improvement, academic or social. So this particular prize, one of the oldest prizes that the school ever awards, is awarded this year to Oliver Foster. We'll break for the song now. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take a little break as they do in these award ceremonies. We're going to have a little break, have an interval uh, while we sing our next song. The song I think most of the adults know as well, because it probably goes back to the time when you were at school. It certainly was when I was at school. This song is One More Step Along the World I Go. Please stand. I wasn't expecting an a cappella version of that, I must admit, but uh, well done, everybody. <laughs> the music ran out halfway. Very good. Uh, the next award 
is uh, a special award uh, that was given in memory of Kathleen Stevens, a long service member of the teaching staff. This prize is awarded to girls who have made the greatest improvement, academic or social. And the Kathleen Stevens Memorial Prize for 2023 is given to Chloe Green. The next prizes are uh, my privilege to give uh, because they are the Principal Head Teachers Award. And in coming to uh, the school, uh, you, you are struck by so many wonderful young people. And sometimes some people stick out in your mind and you think, uh, wow, what a great contribution they make. And this particular pupil, uh, well, there's two awards uh, that have made, represent our school in so many different ways. And I know that where we've had occasions where they've represented the school and uh, people from outside have been guided around the school, they've talked about the school, they've talked about their life in the school, they are an incredible asset and an incredible ambassadors for our school who've given so much in the time that I've been in the school to the life of the school, the community, and they serve this uh, culture is just amazing. They are just such wonderful young people and a great example to everybody. So it was a great pride for me to know that they are our head boy and head girl of this year. And so the principal's prizes for this year are awarded to Mikolaj Grabeski and Sophia Varela Reigns. Thanks, Sophia. I've got to say, Mikolaj is a pretty mean chess player as well, actually. Getting better. I'm still beating him, actually, so it's not so bad. Only just, though. Okay. Uh, the next award is the Gillespie Award. And the Gillespie Award is, uh, again, in memory of David Gillespie, a head teacher of the school from 1997 to 1996. And this was donated to the Outstanding Year 6 Pupil of the Year. And the Year 6 staff this year have chosen as the recipient of the Gillespie Award, Emily Bollas. I've got to say, uh, I actually think Emily runs the school. Uh, I think most of the staff will probably agree. She's got fantastic ideas. She's never afraid to come up and speak to me nearly every single day to try to improve our school. And she's a really great example of a young person who's got a massively bright future in front of you. So, Emily, we wish you all the very best for that. Well-deserved award. Thank you. Well done. The next award is the Watson Cricket Shield. And uh, as I think the children know, and the parents are probably becoming more aware, we're doing more and more in sport all the time. It's been a very difficult time for schools with sport over the last few years, post-pandemic, uh, coming through the pandemic period where sports were shut down, starting to open those up again. And we've been taking part in lots of different competitions. Uh, there is actually a live stream going on at 11 o'clock back at school of the Trust-wide awards for the virtual athletics competitions that we took part in this year uh, across all the uh, 20 trust schools as well. So there are lots of different things going on uh, all the time. And we're looking to branch that out even further next year as we're appointing two additional sports coaches to work with us in school and open up uh, our forest schools uh, much more widely and to ensure that there are going to be at least eight more different sports clubs available for children going forward. So we're really putting a lot of effort into sport 
because it's one of the great privileges of, of schools and education to encourage young people to uh, be as healthy as they can be. And sports provision, as we all know, is one of the great ways to do that and to get engagement. So the sports awards are very, very important. And the Watson Cricket Shield for this year, donated by Greg Watson, uh, who was uh, a local uh, cricketer, is to go to Rowan Goldsmith. Rowan, we've got a question for you, which you need to answer before you go. Batsman or bowler? Both. Both! Well, very good. And I won't tell you how many times yesterday I was badgered by uh, year fives and sixes to ensure Sky Sports was on so they could watch the opening of the cricket. There we go. The next award is the Townsend Junior Sportsman. And this award was donated by Mike Townsend, who was a friend of the school for many years, to the most outstanding sports person of the year. And the Outstanding Sports Person of the Year Award, the All Rounder for 2023, was awarded to Eddie Barber. Well done, Eddie. Eddie, what's your favourite sport? Rugby. Rugby, okay. Do you support England or Wales? England. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> off you go. I say that because my great-grandfather played for Wales. It's my only claim to fame, I think. So I actually have his Welsh cap at home, which is a source of family pride and a great source of dispute amongst members of the family who should own it. But I'm not giving it up. Uh, 2023 award. This is another award for sport for this year. And this award goes to the uh, Junior Sports Woman of the Year. And again, in memory of uh, his Townsend, this award goes to Evie Brassington. I'm not going to be presumptuous these days to say I'm assuming it's not rugby because rugby is as much a sport for young ladies as it is for young men. So what's your favourite sport? Basketball. Uh, that's nothing to do with Mr. Wood, is it? No. Oh, well, there we are, you see. What an influence that's been. Fantastic. Let's give it a round of applause. The uh, growth in sport for, uh, for, for women's, women's sport in general is such a wonderful thing to see. And it's great to see uh, the uh, great successes of the Lionesses. And I know that that sports competition is going on as we speak at the moment. So this is a particularly poignant award because it's very much of the moment. And this award is the Jamie Evans Award, awarded for being outstanding in football. And this goes to Emily Parry. This is the moment I get to ask questions. You can't go yet. So, uh, who's your favourite footballer? Got a favourite? Favourite football team? Wrexham. Wrexham. Oh, right. Hollywood, eh? Beckons. So, Hollywood. Do you go watch Wrexham play? No. You haven't been? Well, that's something we'll have to think about. We'll have to get you to Wrexham and we'll have to get you signed up by Ryan Reynolds. Yeah? Are you thinking you might, you might go to watch Wrexham play? Oh, I hope so. Watch it on TV, if nothing else. Okay, well done. Thank you.
I never thought I'd hear anyone say that Wrexham would be their favourite team. No offence. But coming from Swansea, that's something that's local rivalry. Okay. So, the next award is the Tom Nixon Award. Now, the Tom Nixon Award is a memorial shield awarded to commemorate the life of Tom Nixon, who was a pupil at this school between uh, 1998 and 2000. And uh, the award is to two pupils, one boy and one girl, who show consistent effort in all aspects of school life. So this award, the Tom Nixon Award, is a dual award, and it's awarded to two pupils this year. It's awarded to Dylan Caffrey and Francesca Hewitt. You have to hold it between you. Hands, hands, right, make sure you get the right one. There you go. Round of applause, folks. One of the great things about being consistent and trying your best all the time and giving of your best is a message that we try to get out uh, to all the young people. Uh, I think I've been consistent this term in saying to everybody that we all need to be the best version of ourselves. I think we can do a bit better than that, actually. Best version of? Ourselves. That's right. And if we can do that, we change the world one person at a time. And I know it sounds a small thing, but if you don't think small things matter, you've never been to bed with a mosquito. Uh, because, you know, really every small thing matters. And whilst we can't make big changes in the world in which we live, we can actually make small changes every single day in how we behave, how we react, and the things that we do. And recognizing that award is a very special award because it shows the consistent effort that you make to make those changes every single day. Okay, well done. Congratulations. I think that brings us to the end of the awards for today. I haven't got any more on my list. That's fine. So, again, many congratulations to all the children who've received awards. And also, many congratulations to Year 6 for all the great things that you've achieved this year. You've been an outstanding year six. I've been in teaching for 43 years. I've been a head teacher of now, this is my 12th school. Uh, and I've come out of retirement for this one. So uh, I think they, they almost dragged me out of my coffin, I think, to get here. Uh, I never expected it, but it's been one of the great privileges to be a member of this school and to see the wonderful year six and how they've actually grown, developed, and shown such great resilience uh, to come through what has been one of the most challenging periods in education and in the life of our country. And we can't underestimate the challenges that our young people face going forward. And you, the parents, you, the children, have risen to that challenge and shown what wonderful people we can be. And we can all be better together and we can all make this world a better place. So thank you, everybody, and thank you to our award winners, but thank you all for all the contributions that you make. The Year 5s who are in the building today, you've got big shoes to fill. Well, I'm really confident that we've got a great year five as well and that you're going to be uh, chomping at the bit in September to get forward. Not least my tidy spies who bombarded me with videos of what they've been doing around the school, which is fantastic to see. And uh, not that I'm a little bit paranoid about keeping things tidy, but it's very difficult at the moment with all the building work going on. So lots of challenges going on. And it's great to see the opportunities that we can create going forward. We're looking forward to a great new year for the school year next year, September. And we know that our year sixes are going to have a fantastic opportunity at the high school of their choice, wherever they go. We wish everybody the best for the summer holidays. We wish you a safe summer holiday. And we hope that we see you all back in September, year fives. And year sixes, we wish you all the very best for the future. And with that, we're going to hand back to Jane, who will do... Oh, Corinthians 13, the way of love. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but I have not love, I am noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith as 
so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burnt, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice on wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in the mirror dimly, but then face to face, now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even, even as I have been fully known. So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for supporting me throughout my time at Whitchurch Juniors. Please help me as I move to Year 7 and onwards. Please always be with me and help me to remember to always choose the best option, treating others with respect, love and kindness. Help me to always be the best version of myself. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this amazing four years and the more to come. I am thankful that you have always been with me to guide me through my hard work. I appreciate the school that you have helped put together and bring us all together as one school family. I thank you. Amen. Amen. May the road rise up to meet you. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. And we're going to close with our prayer that we've learned together, boys and girls. And show our parents what we do. Jesus, for life, for breath, we thank you. I think as we go out and we reflect on this school year, we'll remember lots and lots of great things. But the one thing I will take away with me, the most important thing I will take away with me, is my memory of you. What a great school you have been this year how well you have risen to the challenges that have been in front of you, and how much you have shown your great potential. We wish you all the very best as we go forward. And we say this as a blessing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may the blessings of God Almighty be on us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Uh, parents, hasn't it been a joy to celebrate the children this morning? I think a final round of applause, but also as thanks for the staff at the school who have enabled our children to have had such a fantastic time. Thank you, everyone. And I hope, children, you'll respond to me here. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you. We'll ask the parents of any of the children who've received awards if they'd like to come down to the front. Um, we can arrange some photographs for you. Thank you, Jane.